A carnivore is literally a devourer of flesh. That means they get the energy they need to live from a diet consisting of the bodies of other animals. The strict carnivore is one that lives on an exclusive meat diet, but not all of them are the same. The diet of a hypercarnivore contains more than 70% fresh meat, while a hypocarnivore only ingests 30% or less meat. Eating meat means hunting. And in order to hunt, carnivores demonstrate a series of common characteristics, like powerful eyesight, sharp teeth, or beaks. And strong hooked claws for capturing and dismembering their prey. Although there are numerous exceptions, such as snakes, which are able to hunt without claws or large teeth. Although carnivores are powerful, they don't live a life of luxury, and getting their daily steak isn't so easy. Many hunters take advantage of the dark of night to search for food. Nocturnal raptors are skilled at flying, seeing, hearing and hunting in the middle of the night. The Eurasian eagle owl is an apex predator that takes advantage of nightfall to look for snacks. The owl's staple prey in the Iberian Peninsula are rabbits and rats. Each captured specimen represents a serving of about 400 grams of meat. Over 90 species of mammals and 170 species of birds have been identified among the eagle owl's favorite menu items. So it's no surprise that even the most unusual animals make up part of its daily diet. The owl likes to hunt in open spaces and visits its favorite spots night after night. Some eagle owls have specialized in hunting the spicy hedgehog, a dish that comes at too high a price for other hunters. They seem to find this exclusive meal delicious and nutritious. This taste for hedgehogs and the ability to flay them gets passed down to the children although the mother is the one who takes care of them and teaches them the most. The male stays on watch and takes care of providing most of their daily menu. The chicks want dinner too. Mama Owl will teach them to handle, skin and eat a somewhat uncomfortable meal. On a diet of hedgehogs, rats, and rabbits, the little owls will be capable of feeding themselves on their own at three weeks of age. Then the parents will simply guard them and take them their share of uncut meat.
Felines are also great predators, and they're also classified as hypercarnivores. Their entire body is designed to hunt. The tiny South American margay is the perfect feline. Agile, quick, athletic, gifted with excellent hearing, keen eyesight, armed with retractile claws and cutting fangs as sharp as daggers. The margay, weighing in at four kilos, is very stealthy. Not only is it silent and fast on the ground, it's the most agile feline at moving through the tree branches. Some specimens barely touch the jungle floor throughout their lifetimes. This time, the white-headed capuchins have seen it in time and they taunt it from the treetops. They're brave from so far away. They feel safe for now. <laughs> Until it climbs up. Their ankles are able to twist 180 degrees, like a squirrel's which allows it to climb down the smoothest, longest trunks without problem. It has no other choice but to keep stalking through the jungle if it wants its serving of fresh meat. For a hunter, it's almost never easy to find food. They need all their cunning, a little bit of luck, and some unwary prey. Their sharp claws are capable of catching a bird in flight, which dies after a precise, hard bite. Just as house cats do when they've caught something to eat, now it can take some time and have a little fun before dinner time. True carnivores are those that survive on an exclusive meat diet, and it doesn't matter if that meat comes from dry land or the water. Their menu may include birds, reptiles, mammals, or fish. Dead or alive, it makes no difference. A hungry customer, five meters long, with dozens of sharp teeth, commands some respect. When a great crocodile goes by half submerged in the river, no one feels safe. This time, they can take it easy. Its strong sense of smell leads it to a dead ox. Perhaps it drowned to death, or perhaps another crocodile got it upstream. Either way, these great butchers now have a few hundred kilos of cow meat all to themselves. Crocodiles, like other reptiles, are unable to chew. They swallow the meat whole or cut it apart violently by shaking it 
twisting around with it or giving it shakes so the pieces of flesh get ripped off into big bites. If the prey is small enough, they just swallow it whole. Their bite is the most powerful in the animal kingdom, with some 1,800 kilos of force. When an animal is captured alive, it's almost impossible to escape because they quickly pull it underwater. The sheer brutality of their biting and shaking when they tear apart their prey causes their teeth to break or fall out fairly frequently, but sharp new fangs come out to replace them. Despite being powerful and terrifying maulers, crocodiles don't eat very frequently. After a good stuffing, they can spend weeks and even months before filling their stomachs again. Not all waters are as dangerous as these. This northern goshawk comes to drink and bathe in this Iberian Peninsula lagoon each day. It seems there's nothing to fear, quite the contrary. The goshawk is a forest predator well equipped for the hunt. It stalks from above, sitting atop one of its vantage points, watching over its territory unseen. Its diet is varied, but its favorite dishes include birds and small mammals. The lagoon itself looks like it is something good for lunch this morning. Maybe it can get a duck to go up to the shore and it can catch it on dry land. Its silhouette terrorizes the ducks as it approaches. but it looks like Mama Duck fell for it. Actually, many predators have very little luck on their hunting attempts. They have to try over and over again until they finally get their ration of food, which for the goshawk is about 180 grams of fresh meat every day. The problem is much more serious when they have to feed a hungry brood waiting impatiently back at the nest. If they don't eat often enough, they can easily perish. Once the prey is in her sights, she attacks its blind spot, coming in low. This time, she's got one. Goshawks can raise up to five or six chicks in a single brood, but this year the bounty's been thin and only two chicks are left. With today's rabbit, they'll have food for at least a couple more days.
Carnivores have a much shorter digestive system in comparison with herbivores because they don't have to digest plant cellulose. The digestion is usually fast, but many of them are good at going hungry because hunting isn't a very successful activity. In the Iberian Peninsula, the great hunters take down deer or roe, which provides them with food for several days straight. Actually, there are plenty of scavengers who love to take a piece of the wolves' prey while they're away. A doe killed two days ago is visited by foxes, ravens, kites, and carrion crows. Until its rightful owners come back. Wolves are highly carnivorous social canids, and they are usually effective cooperative hunters. Although they only take down 20% of the large prey they stalk, such as deer, elk, bison, or goats, the basis of their diet. When the prey dies, the pack open the abdominal cavity, and the feast begins. On this occasion, the status of each member of the pack is clearly visible. The alpha pair eat first and tend to choose viscera, including the liver, the lungs, and the heart. After they finish, they seed the rest of the meat to the other wolves in order by rank. Among the most sought after cuts of meat are the stomach as well as the leg muscles. A single wolf can ingest around three and a half kilos of meat at a time, although when they're very hungry, they may eat up to 15 kilos in one sitting. They'll eat from the same deer until they're chewing and gnawing on its bones. In a few days, almost nothing is left. The Spanish Imperial Eagle, a strict carnivore, only inhabits the Iberian Peninsula. Its favorite environment is the Deesas, where open grounds are dotted with trees. It's the home of its favorite prey, its main diet, the rabbit. Rabbit meat is delicate, nutritious, and low in fat. It seems to be the perfect food for a strict carnivore. However, myxomatosis and other illnesses have decimated the lagomorph populations, and the Spanish imperial eagles, too accustomed to this prey, have succumbed to a rabbit scarcity. It's clear that eating just one dish isn't a very good idea. This eagle, however, won't hesitate to take this dead rabbit. If it can be eaten, it prefers not to let its favorite dish go to waste. The Imperial Eagle is a specialized apex predator that largely depends on rabbits in order to survive. And its chicks need a lot of protein every day. Rabbit meat is an ideal food for them. These great eagles have two or three chicks per year, although at least one usually dies due to lack of food.
many years the bounty is scarce and it's not possible to raise even one pair of eaglets. This year the pair of imperial eagles has been lucky and around summertime their chicks will fly from the nest almost independent. At this point, they no longer tear up their food, they just let the rabbit drop and the eaglets take care of eating it on their own. In addition to rabbits, the parents bring hares, pigeons, crows and even foxes. The young ones will leave the nest in a few days but the parents will care for and feed them another four months. Meanwhile, they'll never lack their daily meat. The carnivorous diet is based on the ingestion of food from other animals. For some carnivores, this includes the eggs, a very complete food source. The ladder snake, which can reach over a meter and a half in length, lacks large teeth or claws, but it has its own weapons that make it a very respectable hunter. With its tongue, it's capable of detecting the most succulent traces in the field, like fresh laid stone curlew eggs. They'd make a great breakfast, but the parents aren't willing to abandon their nest. The snake doesn't want a pecking or a kicking from some angry bird parents. The Eurasian stone curlew's display is enough to scare it off to look for food somewhere else. It's just a matter of time. The trails of smell invade the field. Sooner or later, it will find an appetizing aroma, like these bowls. But it looks like the rodents also detect the danger and they run to their nest before the snake realizes what's going on. Maybe the afternoon will bring more luck. The snake not only has very developed senses, its attacks are also quick and well aimed and its embrace is deadly. The ladder snake has no venom, but it is strong and agile, and its prey are caught off guard with no time to react. The mouse dies of asphyxiation and gets devoured. The snake swallows its victims whole, unhinging its jawbones in order to ingest them. Its gastric juices will do the rest.
It's clear that eating meat is hard work and requires being in shape, being patient, and being a great hunter. For their effort, meat eaters are powerful and enjoy a peaceful life with a tasty and protein-rich diet. Thank you. 